Hey everyone, my name is Daniel, and in today's video, we're gonna focus on all the administration settings you need to configure for AI Builder. And this is part of my AI Builder video series, and if you haven't already, go watch the introduction video because it gives you a good overview of all the content I'm gonna cover in this series. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna make sure that after you are done watching it, you will have all the information that you need for a safe and a fair utilization of all the AI credits in your tenant. And if you don't know what AI credits are, I'll give you a recap of that as well. So stick around, this is very, very important. But first, here's my intro video. All right, so let's spend a few minutes talking about credits. Credits is the amount you use to go ahead and get some AI work done. So for example, if you wanna go ahead and extract some data from a PDF file, well, that will take some credits to be utilized for every time that process is run. So if you think about it, credits is very similar to credit cards. Because even in your credit cards, you've been assigned a dollar value. And every time you go ahead and do a transaction, there is an amount deducted from that dollar value. Now, in AI credits, it is a little bit different because your credits are assigned based on all the licenses that you have purchased, but it also functions on a use it or lose it mindset. So for example, if you've got say 20,000 credits assigned to you, then you can utilize all of that 20,000 for that one month. But when the new month starts, which is on the first day of the month, it will reset. It's not that the 20,000 that you didn't consume last month get carried over and now you have 40,000. No, it doesn't work that way. 20,000 is all that you've been allocated and if you don't use it, the next month it gets reset again to only 20,000. So now that you've got a good overview of how these AI builder credit works, now let's focus on the next few minutes and how you can truly administer and govern it. So the first thing I wanna show you is a quick and easy way for you to know exactly how many credits you have. And to do that, it's best that you have the Power Platform Administration role. And once you do, come over here into your Power Platform Admin Center, also known as PPAC, and by default you'll be in the home, but what we wanna do is come down to the resources and click on this capacity. And right over here, if you go scrolling down, under add-ons, you will see your AI Builder credits. Now, normally you might only see the top one, but if you also went ahead and signed up for that temporary 200,000 credits, which is purely for testing, then you will also see this bottom option. And this is the sign, 200,000 of this existing amount I have is purely for temporary extension credits, all right? But all in all, this is what it is. This is where you come and see exactly how many credits you have at your tenant level. So now that you have this information, let me now focus your attention on how you can go ahead and govern this administration. Because the first question you need to answer is how did I get all of these licenses? Specifically, the premium or the per user one, which is Power Apps Premium or the Power Automate Premium. How did you get these licenses? Did your company go ahead and buy enough for the entire number of employees? Or was it that this department went and purchased their licenses for specifically their users and then so on and so forth. Another department went and bought something else. Because based on the scenarios, you will have to make the decision how you divvy up or spread these credits. So let's take a look at that first scenario. Because the licenses were purchased by the company for everyone, which means all the credits are also owned by the company. So initially they can have those credits available by default for everyone and then they just go ahead and monitor it. Now for that to happen, there is already a setting available out of the box and it actually is enabled. However, before I show you that, let's also talk about that second scenario because if licenses have been purchased by certain departments, well, we need to make sure that they are also allocated the credits that they own, right? Because they purchase the licenses, they already own certain credits. In that scenario, you've got to make sure that those credits are assigned to their environments. And most importantly, credits don't get used by some rogue by somebody else. And you know which environment can cause that. Yes, you guessed it, the default environment. That is the place where also these credits could be available and somebody could just go ahead and start using it 
and consuming it as well. So if you are in that second category, then what I urge you to do is actually come to the Power Platform Admin Center again, make sure that you're on the home, go back to your settings, and you see the setting over here, AI Builder Credits. If you go to your own environment and go to this tenant settings, you will see that this setting is by default enabled. So if I go and click on it, let's read that together. It says, when enabled, environments without assigned AI Builder Credits can use tenant unassigned credits to perform AI builder actions. And yes, that is checked in. What that basically says is that, hey, if you haven't assigned it to any specific environment, then it's free for all. Anybody who has access to your environments over here can go ahead and use it, specifically even the default environment. So once again, if you're in that second category where your licenses have been purchased at a per department level, and you want to make sure that the correct amount of credits are assigned to them, then the first thing I would do is come over here, uncheck this, and also now they won't go rogue. So now that you've unchecked it, go ahead and click on save so that you make sure that these credits will not be consumed in a rogue faction. Second thing that you have to do is now go ahead and assign that to those specific environments. And to do that, it's actually pretty simple. You come over here back again to your capacity, go to your add-ons, and over here, you go ahead and assign that to an environment level. And I love how easy this has become. So what you see over here is me already gone ahead and assigned certain credits to an environment. So if I click on the pencil, you will actually see that in this case, for this environment of mine specifically, I have gone ahead and assigned 4,000 credits. And I love it because the moment I put in 4,000, it immediately goes and tells me, hey, here's the difference, so that's the credits remaining. But let's actually go and do that for another scenario, right? I'm gonna glance over here. I'm gonna click on plus assign to an environment, and here I'm gonna go ahead and search for this environment. This is very specifically an environment that I own, and now it's telling me, hey, you've only got 5,500 credits remaining. That's fine. In this case, I'm only gonna go ahead and put in 3,000, so that's what it is, three, and then three zeros. I'm gonna go and click on save, and now it'll go ahead and make sure that it's properly assigned. Another item comes over here and therefore perfect. Now I've got specific credits assigned to me. So in your real world scenario, this could be similar or you might actually have one department, that department has 10 different environments. So you will have to have some conversation with that department saying, hey, you actually have so many credits. Uh, do you want me to just spread them out across all your environments or have you gone ahead and I should edit certain environments only for the AI stuff and I should assign the credits away there. Have that discussion and then you can go and divvy up their credits to their environment. This is the most fair way to make sure that these credits are utilized specifically by the people who've actually paid for it. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Says Daniel, you are making this sound so easy. Here I am watching a video for the first time and I have no clue where to start. And for you, I'm actually gonna provide some steps, some guidance. And once again, that Power Platform Center of Excellence Toolkit comes to the rescue. Because you, once you've gone ahead and installed that, configured it, all those flows are run, when you go ahead and open up this Power BI report, your governance report, even though yours is as old as mine, like mine is over a year old, even then this report, when you come down to the left, you will find AI models. And this is where you get a good utilization of any usage that is happening of creation of those models, the AI models and the credits. So the first thing that I see over here are all the environments and the models that are created. And one of the ones I noticed right over here, see that one? That is my default environment. So that's the first maker that I need to go ahead and contact and say, hey, I'm gonna tighten my governance a little bit for this AI credits utilization. We are going to have block it in our default environment, uh, but let's go and make sure that your AI model and any apps and flows that are using it, let's move it to a dedicated environment and then we'll go ahead and assign credits to that environment. Do that first before you go ahead and create all those settings that I just talked about. Now for the remaining people who've actually done a good job going and building models in their own environments, we also need to make sure that the correct amount of credits are assigned to them. And to do that, we go back again into our Power Platform Admin Center, go back again into the capacity, and if you scroll down a little bit, you see under the add-ons, there's something called as download reports. Click on it, and it will download a CSV file. When I open up the CSV, this is what I see. 
this is the actual consumption of the credits that is happening in your tenant. In this case, it's mine. But these are the actual credits that are used, not the ones that are assigned, they're actually used over here. So I just gotta make sure I see that, and then I also can go ahead and see the date over here. So this is really helpful for you to kind of understand, hey, I wanna start spreading out these credits to make sure it's shared across the right people. Here is where you can get the exact numbers. Now, if you are really curious, right, really curious to see, hey, this is at the environment level, but what the heck is happening at the environment level? then there is actually a neat little reporting feature that is available. To do that, you go into Power Automate, make sure you're in that specific environment where you're curious about the credit utilization, click on More, and then come to Discover Alls. Under Monitor, right over there, you see something called as AI Builder Activity. Now this is in preview, but I've already been very impressed with what information it gives. So when I go and click on it, uh, it shows me the last seven days and all AI models. Now when I click on it, I can get more days, like last 28 days, or I can even put in a custom filter. But here's the neat thing. It is showing me a list of all the models and how they have run for each of their process and the credit utilization. Because remember, on that Excel spreadsheet, we saw a full quantity, basically a sum of all the credit utilizations in that environment. But this is where we can actually go and see a full breakdown of all of these credits. Now, the only thing I don't like over here is it shows it at a per model level. Because there could be a scenario where you actually build a model, but that model has been used by Power Automate and by Power Apps. And you can't see which one is which because this one could have been a Power Apps, this one could have been a Power Apps, but this could have been a Power Automate. And right now, I absolutely cannot do it. And just to prove a point, if I go and click on this, it basically does give me some stuff, but this stuff doesn't have any information about what it was a Power Apps or Power Automate. It doesn't do that. So I'm hoping that Microsoft will actually go ahead and add another column over here and give us a breakdown if it was used by an apps, but Power Apps, or if it was used by a Power Automate flow. Um, but the other thing you can do over here is go and click on it because if you've got multiple models, you just want to make sure you only select one model so you've got that filter functionality. But this is the neat thing that I have is that initially you can see it at the environment level of how credits are utilized at the whole environment. But here you can come over here and see exactly how many credits are utilized for each and every model. I'm pretty impressed with this. All right, one more thing we absolutely need to talk about because this can and will happen in the real world is where you've gone and utilized all your AI credits, but you still need more because your AI model, which is for a legitimate use case, has more consumption. So the question I get asked is, hey, Daniel, is there also a pay-as-you-go model for this? And the answer to that is not quite. And to answer that, let's go back specifically into our Power Platform licensing guide and take a look at these capacity packs. And that one capacity pack, as it states over here, capacity pack includes 1 million service credits per month. That's a lot. So if you buy it in these bundles, like one capacity pack, well, that's 500 per month. But if you go and buy more, then it becomes cheaper. So if you buy 10 capacity packs, then that's 375 per capacity pack, which means you don't have to add 375 times 10, which means it's actually $3,750 that you will pay per month. And again, in this case, it's the exact same thing. It's either you use it or you lose it. So in this case, if you paid extra 500 for that 1 million, it might be perfect for a scenario. But in some situations, you might only utilize a little bit of that 1 million and now you still have to pay 500 and guess what? That 1 million credits did not get carried over. So before you go down this path, my recommendation to you is clean up that AI model a little bit. Maybe after you tweak it, it might not consume that many credits and you might not need to come and spend more money over here. However, this is always here available for your utilization. So let's do a quick recap. First things first, there is a setting which will allow users to use any unallocated credits, which means they could also be building it in the default environment. And I just walked you through how you can stop that. Also, before you actually go and stop it, you can go and take a look at the Power BI report for the Center of Excellence Toolkit, see how many AI models are actually being utilized in the default environment, and then follow the steps that I showed you to do some cleanup process. I also showed you how you can go ahead and allocate credits 
directly down to the environment level so that they are fairly used, especially if you have departments who are going ahead and purchasing more licenses. They need to get the credits that are due to them. And finally, I also showed you another pricing option where if for some reason you've consumed all your credits, you can go ahead and purchase these packs. However, there is a price tag to it. And most importantly, it is not a pay as you go. It is a use it or a lose it mindset. And there is a dollar value to that. So hopefully this video is useful to you because the primary purpose is to make sure you set up all the right configurations and are the governance guardrails so that you can successfully use AI credits in your tenant. And as always, keep using AI Builder. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.